this is the fallout happened. The fallout happened from the whole thing that happened from night one of Tucker Carlson telling as many propaganda lies as he could about January 6th since he was given these tapes by Kevin McCarthy so he could maybe get in good with MAGA once again. So Mitch McConnell, <laughs> the lead Republican in the Senate, he actually had a press conference and he had a bit of truth to tell. Watch this. Was it a mistake by Speaker McCarthy to give access to Tucker Carlson of this security footage? My uh, concern is how it was depicted, which is a different issue. Clearly, the chief of the Capitol Police, in my view, correctly describes what most of us witnessed firsthand on January 6th. So that's my reaction to it. Um, it was a mistake, in my view, for Fox News to depict this in a way that's completely at variance with what our chief law enforcement official here at the Capitol thinks. That's Ms. McConnell's boring and dry and hope you're not listening way of saying Tucker Carlson and the Fox News lied about what happened on January 6th. I know what happened, we all saw what happened and I don't agree with what they said. But instead he decided to talk about how he doesn't agree that they changed, they have a different assumption about what the Capitol Police said. Just say it Mitch, just say it. In fact, when someone asked him, hey, why don't you just say it? Or actually, why is it that Representative McCarthy handed this over considering you disagree with it? Why is it that that's okay? And Mitch McConnell is peak Mitch McConnell. Watch. Tucker Carlson has already teased another round of videos that are going to be released today. I understand that you're upset with the way that Fox is uh, depicting it, but he's been forecasting this for months, asking for this access to this footage to have a presentation just like this. Yeah, Wasn't yeah. a mistake for <laughs> the speaker to hand that? You guys know I have many faults, but one of them is not answering the question in a way that I don't want to answer it. I've given you the answer. <laughs> Why do you think there are some within your party who don't want to acknowledge January 6th as a day of war? Why do you think that there are some within your party who don't want to acknowledge January 6th as an attack or an insurrection? <laughs> Shall I give you the same answer again? <laughs> Anybody want to ask me something different? Principal is absolutely uh, on <laughs> blast there, like these guys. Uh, so no matter what, I disagree with what was just being said. In other words, it's lies, it's propaganda, it's BS. And then when asked, do you have a problem with the leader of, of Republicans in the House giving this tape over to a known liar? He goes, I don't want to answer that. Uh, I actually, you guys know, I don't answer questions that could possibly have any kind of negative effect on my party. My party is more important than my country, Ben. I don't understand, I never will, how people see an answer like that. And the people behind them just laugh and the press laughs. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to tell us the truth. And people supporting him, Republicans watching him in his district and around the country see that and don't immediately see one step further. That means he is not even speaking the truth when confronted with it. He's literally saying, oh, I don't want to have to admit that my coworkers are uh, uh, supporting people that are trying to tear down our democracy. So I'm going to use political tricks to pivot away from that question. How do they not immediately lose all faith in the person? I don't get it. And the clip before, when he's sitting there, has to finally at least say something negative about Fox News. Whatever 1% of life force, 1% cell battery left in his system to try to spit those words out. Oh, Fox, oh, shouldn't have, oh, done. You can see this paper with eight point font, which explains more. You can't see it, sorry, too late, bye. 100% jokers. That's the plan to say it and then be like, well, I told, I pushed back on it. I'm not sure what you guys were talking about right before I said, I actually don't give a good hot damn about this at all. Yep. We're trying to protect yep. and I'm trying to also protect myself at the exact same time. Let's wrap up this block though, you guys. Um, this stuck out to me because again, we're talking about the uh, lies that Tucker Cross is telling his propaganda that he pushed. This is again in the middle of uh, all of these revelations about backdoor emails and text messages from Fox News folks. And openly talked about how they knew all these were lies about election fraud and Donald Trump actually won. This is still from Monday's broadcast of Tucker Carlson, SOT number six, you guys. I still can't believe he said this. This must have been the same tie, but on a different day. Watch. 
The protesters were angry. They believed that the election they had just voted in had been unfairly conducted. They were right. In retrospect, it is clear the 2020 election was a grave betrayal of American democracy. Given the facts that have since emerged about that election, no honest person can deny it. Aren't they being sued for saying this? <laughs> Am I losing my mind? Isn't this exactly what they're being sued for? Yeah, it's exactly. Now, Tucker said there in retrospect, which also is his little one word cover of, that means I didn't say it before, I'm gonna deny that. But now I think without mentioning the name of a voting systems yeah. company, that it's clearly vaguely a fraudulent election because you can't be sued, I guess, by American democracy itself, but you can be sued by particular companies you decided to defame and slander earlier. You instead decide to speak in generalities. It's insane. Every time they say this, they are literally, in my view, committing treason. They are giving comfort to the enemies of the United States by saying that our democracy is no longer functional. That's the accusations we make of Russia, who does not have a functional democracy, who does rig their elections. And to put us on par with that is a crime against this country. It is seditious, it is treasonous, and it is without punishment in modern day America. It's also, uh, it also pays well. That's the whole reason, well, part of the reason they do it. They also hate the country.